What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and we're doing a couple of trade-ins today. Um, this one here, this is just like a bunch of PS3 games, a Wii system, just random stuff, and I really wanted to thin down my PS3, my Xbox 360. I, I love the systems, don't get me wrong, but you know, there's just so many games I'm not playing for those systems. The PS4, um, you know, other stuff, Genesis, you know, Mega Drive, there's some of that stuff I need to get rid of. You know, a lot of the stuff that I'm not playing, I just want to get rid of it because I don't need, I don't feel like I'll really want a huge collection at this point. Um, so, and I'm not getting rid of everything, you know, definitely keeping like, you know, all my shooters, you know, pretty much all my RPGs for like PS1, PS2, um, you know, the stuff that I'm really into. But uh, this is the route that I actually take to one of my game stores. Um, pretty country, <laughs> pretty country out here, actually. Um, you know, when I go further up north, um, you know, it gets kind of cold and, you know, sometimes it'll be, it'll be like this out right now, but then I go up north and there's like snow all over the ground. So, you know, sometimes it gets kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, we're going to the local store, see what we can get for this stuff. Um, you know, I don't know if I want cash. I don't know if I've, I've kind of been going around to these stores lately. So I, I know what they got. Um, unless they got something new in the other day, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to take the cash on this one. Although... I do need a PS2 controller, and there was a few that I saw there that looked pretty interesting. So I do collect, I don't really collect controllers, but controllers that work really well, um, you know, I, I use them for, for example, there's PS1 games that don't have auto fire. So if I can find a PS1 or PS2 controller with an auto fire function, that's something that I need. Okay, so after a trip to my local retro game store in the mall in White Marsh, Maryland, I ended up with, well, $43 cash, uh, so $40, plus I spent three. I'm in the mall, so I sat in one of those massage chairs for a few minutes. Felt really good. And I ended up with this, so $43, and this fight pad. Um, yeah, this is like a Street Fighter anniversary fight pad, 15th year anniversary. I don't know. It was 20 bucks, and I think this thing's new. They had a used one for 15 but, uh, you know, I can use this to play shooters with. So, yeah, we're going to unbox this when we get home. Um pretty cool 20 bucks for this you know i love finding the new controllers especially limited stuff like i'd rather have a limited controller than a limited console but that's just me but anyway i am going to stop by the flea market before i get home so let's see if we find anything over there okay so no video games in the flea market but i, I mean they had some just nothing i wanted um but i did find this dvd the original dirty pair damsels in destruction i don't know that looked like a pretty I don't know. This looks like a pretty good one. I don't think this is like one of a series, at least because it would have a number on there, you know, so that seemed interesting. And then this one looked really good. I heard about this, Escafloon. Um, this is supposed to be uh, like one of the best anime series ever. And I do believe this is the series and the movie, which apparently um, tell the same story. But yeah, this is a uh, look at this. So this was 25 for both. But yeah, this is like the whole series. And then I think... The movie's in there too. See, Escafloon. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this to watch. You know, I heard I heard it's good. I heard this is like one of the best anime series ever. So yeah, there's a uh, 25 of my dollars went to uh, Escafloon and the uh, original Dirty Pair, Damsels in Destruction, at the Joppa Flea Market. So at this point, I watched some of those animes that Escaflone. I think that's how you pronounce that Escaflone. I think I mispronounced it earlier. Um, Pretty good from what I saw so far. I watched about half the movie. And that Dirty Pair, that was really good. Now, that was part of a series. That was like episode five, six, seven, whatever. I started watching it from the first episode on the disc, and it's pretty good. That uh, I'll have to say that late 80s, early 90s anime is some of the most hardcore shit out there. So, anyway, here we go. We got some more games, PS4 games, Switch games. You know, stuff that I'm not really playing right now. You know, any of these games, you know, if I want to play them, if the world's going to end, if I don't have one of these games, I can go buy it later. And like I said, if my local store don't have it, I'll just order it online. Or stuff like this, find it at GameStop. So anyway, we're going to go to Flea Market. Let's see what we get. So here's what I ended up getting. I got, this is a shooter I've had my eye on for a while, but Iridian 2. And they wanted $22.99. That seems kind of pricey for a Game Boy Advance game. But with the trade and everything, this was about 15 bucks. And I got this money, baby. Got this money, baby, so I might head over to another game store. I don't know, but I got some cash, and I got this uh, the shooter for the Game Boy Advance Iridian 2 for the games that I just traded in, so pretty happy with that. 
Okay, so guys, right now I'm in front of a store in York, Pennsylvania called Just Press Play. There's a few of these stores out here in Pennsylvania, um, but there's a game I want. I'm going to show you in a minute. Hopefully I get it and hopefully they'll trade. Um, but, you know, just some stuff that's Cybernator. Like, I don't need this copy of Cybernator on the Super Nintendo. Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2. But I think I could play this on my a smartwatch if I wanted to. This was ported to everything. And I have a couple copies of this. I think this is Final Fantasy 9. Yep, Final Fantasy 9. I actually have the original, I guess the black label. Um, it's not the greatest hits version, but I heard the greatest hits version has like better CGI or something. I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to take these inside. Let's see what I get. Okay, guys, so this is what I got. Now, I'm really happy I got this. I guess that's Phalanx. This is a shooter that I actually had as a kid. My mom got it for me when we went on vacation one year. And that box art, it looked just like that. The guy playing the banjo and everything. And I remember getting that box and looking at it and like, what the hell did my mom just get me? But one thing I'll never do again is I'm never trading games into a just press play location again. Like, I still had to give them $10 for that. Um, yeah, they straight fucked me. Never again taking my shit down the flea market. <laughs> I'm, I'm never taking it out here again. But anyway, I, I'm glad I got the shooter, but just learned a lesson. Never trade stuff at any Just Press Play location. Not a whole lot to talk about as far as this week in gaming. Uh, I guess the biggest news would be Xeno Crisis just came out. Actually, a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, texted me and reminded me I did get a copy. got the uh, collector's edition on the Nintendo Switch. was going to get the PS4 version because I guess it was more limited, but... If I want to play it on the PS4, I'll just download it. Got the collector's edition on the Switch. Totally cool with that. But the really cool thing is I went on the, I guess, the people that published the game. They did a Neo Geo AES and MVS version. They also did a Neo Geo CD version. So I am going to order or pre-order. I guess it's available right now. I don't know. But the Xeno Crisis Neo Geo CD version, since I'm a very proud Neo Geo CD owner, that's like one of those consoles that I will collect pretty much, pretty much within reason. Um, you know, anything I see for the system, it's pretty much shooters and fighters. There's like some puzzle games and stuff in there, all arcade kind of stuff. But uh, as you guys have been seeing, I've been selling off a lot of like PS3, PS4. I'm going to start cracking into Xbox 360, like games that I'm not going to play. I know I'm not going to play. I'm getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them and I'm trading them for stuff that I am going to play. Some of the more pricey stuff that I have, I'm probably just going to throw it on eBay because I can roll that money into a deal on a game that I really want. Uh, but that is something that I'm doing right now because um, I don't want a giant mound of games that I'm not going to play. Um, you know, some people might think that's cool, and, you know, I kind of did for a long time, but eh, it's not just me anymore. But, you know, not going to trade any of my shooters, sell any of my shooters unless they're doubles or, like, any of my crazy, like, Saturn or PS1 RPGs and stuff. I'm keeping all that. But uh, everything else, it's on the chopping block right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great week. Um, you know, work's slowing down for me, so I'm going to have a little bit more time to, like, live stream and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys got this week. Till next time, guys. Peace out.